Hey, gang, welcome to the Are You Garbage Comedy Podcast. Make sure you subscribe so you get the videos as they come out. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey! Everybody out there. <laughs> and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage, folks. Yep. It's a little show. We sit down with your favorite comedians and we find out if they grew up to be classy mm-hmm. or if they're just a big old piece of trash. Oh, boy. I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're down here, Aunt Tootie's basement. We got a little family episode going on right now. It's just me and the big dog sitting right across from me. Uh huh. You could count his pimple as three, but we'll see. Kevin James Ryan, everybody. Man, he's been sitting on that for an hour while Woo! we've been in here. It's so funny, dude. You're it's, you're like a map. I the second you came in, I knew you were gonna say something. The fact mm-hmm. that you didn't, I said that's gonna be in the intro. Oh and yeah, sure as shit. I'm like. You can't give this guy an inch. Save it for the pod. <laughs> uh, Save it for the pod. What, what happened? What What do you mean? I got a pimp, and then it was one of those things. It's a camera day, so uh-huh. it's like, do you pop it? Do you not pop it? What do you, you do? You popped it. You uh, went in. Of course. Yeah. You Did you get anything it. out of it? Yeah, but not enough. Mm. You know what I mean? She's deep down there. She's got she roots. Is. Yeah. Whatever. It is what it is. I'm a 40-year-old man with acne. Do I look at you, or should I look at him? What, how do you get wanna... them out. All right. Well, I'm not going to laugh at them, because we've been, <laughs> we've been making that joke to each other for 10 years. I'm not going to fake laugh on the pod. What up, everybody? Thanks for tuning in. As yes, always, sir. please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. And as you know, those numbers are true to fucking roof, dog. Um, and then a couple other things. Patreon.com. Mm-hmm. Got some new content coming out today. Today, this drops. That's right. The Kippy's Crib episode is up there. Uh oh. It's about 13 minutes long. It's a d- Holy d- d- shit. It's a good one, guys. Check that out. So if you sign up, you can get that. And also, shout out to everybody. We bro- we're, we crushed past 1,000 patrons, which we is did. fucking bananas. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. It means the fucking world to us. Another thing. Okay, what do you got? Fucking cards are on sale. What? Yep. Get them back? back on sale. Get them while they're hot. Holy shit. Very limited number left. I know the number that's left. And it ain't a lot. It's not. They'll go but to, you ordered the same amount that you ordered last time. They just moved real quick through that social media. Uh, they'll go today. So if you hear this, the link's in the description. And then also Raleigh on 420 mm-hmm. and Nashville on 421. Get mm-hmm. those tickets. Mm-hmm. Live AYG. Me and the big man doing some stand-up doing some live AYG with you guys. You'll be asking us questions. We'll be asking you questions. It's going to be a good fucking time, baby. It's going to be an interactive experience with the audience. (laughs) It's going to be fantastic. We're going to the South, baby. Yep. We're coming. A couple of yanks. Yeah. Coming in. Straighten them out again. Yeah. See flex what's on, going on. Flex on them. Maybe sign up. I don't know. Maybe they'll turn us. Who knows? <laughs> see what happens. Food's we'll we'll pretty see. good down there. I'm excited. It's going to be a hot one, baby. How about a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire? You know him. You're friends with this kid. I spent a never, whole I spent a whole day with him on Saturday. Never heard of him. Got the vibe that he was getting a little sick of me. <laughs> he makes us all look good here. He's the magic man. You know him as T Bone McMuffin, but his mama named him. Toby McMullen. Sure. What up? Hey, buddy. Damn, yeah, me and Foley are road dogs, dude. We're yeah. fucking bro. We broke down in the Jeep. We did. <laughs> Better you than me. It was, oh, it was the guy. Time. The guy is not a great driver. Five and a half hours of Springsteen and Butt Rock. Oh, I got to listen to his favorite band. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ew, <laughs> Cannibal Death Corpse oh, or something. Brutal. Why me? Not even close. Not even close. One of the most talented bands on the planet oh Earth. And God. Foley's like, what is this, like Sum 41? I was like, kick rocks, you <laughs> fucking nerd. Fucking drop-off kid, whatever the fuck it was called. 13 minutes on that on that video, huh? Yeah, it's and it's fucking fire, dude. It's a hot one, baby. This kid's bucking for Sundance over here. Huh? <laughs> well, we shot about an hour and a half. I think he's <laughs> sniffing around for a raise. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. Gang, this is a family episode. It's just us. Oh, and yeah. fucking you guys, and we like it that way. Mm-hmm. We like circling the wagons every once in a while. We're gonna we're gonna get through some Patreoni questions. Yeah, talk about some things. I just had something. What do you got? You ever gross out a nurse? No, I don't think so. I just I'm I made a nurse gag about two hours ago on the subway. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, folks. <laughs> now I had to go for a COVID. COVID get, test. I had to go get a COVID. 
Oh. And uh, I had just uh, kind of was just get kind of getting my day started. Oh, I you don't know? like that. I had showered. You know, I'd showered. I'd done everything like that. And um, but I hadn't really done any maintenance in the uh, in the nasal department, let's say. And uh, she went in for she went. <laughs> Got a gummy bear? <laughs> <laughs> she got a little more than she bargained for, huh? Here's Fallout Boy for you. <laughs> Fruit by the foot up there? What's yeah, she, I, she caught a boog, as they would say. Caught oh. a boogie. Oh. So she had to throw that one out and do the test. And it was nasty. It was like, all oh, right. Okay. I'm, ju- I'm jump sharing here. Well, yeah, what, what the fuck? I, that's a, not everything shareable, okay? <laughs> Keep some shit close to the vest. It was real embarrassing, man. She was hot too. Like she was packing a cannon on a fucking ship. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the Battle of Antietam. <laughs> God, Holy's got Civil War nose. <laughs> oh, got pirate nose. <laughs> I take out Denzel and Ferris Bueller in one shot. Shout out to Glory. Fantastic movie. Check it out. Ah, uh, man. Um, yeah. Also, too, you were getting fucking roasted on YouTube for your mustache, by the way. It's okay. I think uh, any t- it's great. It's, it's great for the algorithm. Anytime you change your look, we get a million comments about how stupid you look. <laughs> Which all helps with the numbers, baby. I got a fresh look now. I'm going to okay. shave your head but when you're sleeping and get, get the comments really juicy. You got roasted so hard it burned it off. <laughs> <laughs> it torched them. Yeah, I got rid of it. I got rid of it. I don't like it. it I just could, it I couldn't go. I couldn't go. I couldn't get all the. I couldn't. Take all the. I didn't want to take off all my facial hair at once because it's kind of a crutch. You know what okay. I mean? Covers up my chin and my neck and my face. I know. There's a lot more visible lines yeah. going on. I wish I was like the wolf man. Had that just all over. I don't know what that disease is called, but I could use it. <laughs> Trade one of the ones I got. Uh, Doc, I got the werewolves. <laughs> <laughs> I got a bad case. <laughs> 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 we can't podcast when it's a full moon. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, it's getting dark. <laughs> I gotta get home. I gotta get home. I gotta get home and staple to the bed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. Well, this is a pu- 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 This isn't a for Patreon, but there's a lot of Patreon and got some Facebook questions as I love well. It. Love that Facebook. And I gotta tell you, we got some fucking heaters, by the mm-hmm. way, guys. So as you know, when you join the Patreon, we'll ask your questions. We have a bit of a backlog, but we're gonna get to all of them. The fucking fish are jumping on the boat. What do you want me to do? You know what I mean? It's tough to process it all. <laughs> uh, that being said, we got a couple of good ones. A lot of car-related ones, I guess, mm. because we I, Kippy just got new wheels. I don't know what it is. I can't believe I didn't I didn't realize that that was a, that was a not pre-owned car. You got a brand It'd be new pretty car. weird if I bought a pre-owned 2021 <laughs> Kia. Somebody had it for a week. <laughs> <laughs> they it's, definitely jerked it, off in it. It's only March. Do a soup kitchen. <laughs> All right. Uh, this is from Mitchell. Uh, have you ever had fuzzy dice in your car? No. I mean, yeah. That's what. <laughs> I mean, unless it's a low rider in L.A., <laughs> yeah. you can't be doing that. Are you out of your mind? I have a couple cousins that might have had them, fucking. But this is when they were hot. Not yeah. Not yeah. yeah, yeah. <clears throat> you know, we're talking eighty two, eighty three. You know, it's a tough look, dude. Yeah. I guess if you're like pulling up to high school or something, you could have them, maybe. But you can't be like. Going to pick your kids up at school with fuzzy dice hanging nah, from your Corolla. Nah, this was prime time. I you got to be a kid-ish. You know yeah. what I mean? I had a couple older cousins that, you know, maybe they were like 16, 17, 18. Fucking, 19, 20, yeah. 21, 22. Just to name they, they had it hot. They had the white walls on the fucking tires. Who are they, Billy Joel? Who the fuck has <laughs> white walls in the 80s or they, 90s? They still had white walls in the 80s. I used to have to clean. <laughs> That's I, the sign of a used car. You still got white walls. No, nah, it was like a Pontiac or something. It was It was hot. I used to have to clean the white walls on the on the on the tires when they would babysit us on Saturday. Shout out to the duck. Shout out to Flo. Used to make me clean their white walls. With it, with Sound a like great print. guys. They were good. It was good times. We had fun. Where okay. did you get fuzzy dice pre Spencer's gifts? Yeah, I guess that's when they were like not ironic. Yeah, they were like them. cool. Yeah. Have to have, know someone on the inside. <laughs> the, get get out of the back of Loser magazine. <laughs> <laughs> I went uh, to a casino one time where they had those at the tables. They had the fuzzy dice at the tables. What, 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 what were you on the prices, right? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking gambling on Sesame Street. Yeah. What, what was next? Plinko. Ah, <laughs> uh, look at me. Started. Shout out to Plinko. As Man, a kid, I was there's like, there's nothing that's more the garbage game. than Plinko. Oh, I love Every Plinko. dirt ball in the world wanted Plinko. And I had a strategy. I'm like, you go to the left, you this fucking you keep guy. the fucking washing machine. I want the key. Yeah, I was like Bob. ten grand if you got it in the middle, right? Yeah. 
or something, a thousand. Sh- straight shot, right you down could get the middle. cash. There was one dude that fucking knocked out of the park. He got like a couple of jihads out of it. Yeah, they do it. I think the grand prize was either a thousand or ten thousand. Ten thousand seems crazy. It had to be a thousand in the middle, but you got like five or six shots. Yeah. Depending on how many questions you, you got. You could right. do a couple of things to get a couple more. <laughs> you know what else was Give good? Bob a little. Uh-uh-uh. Oh, listen, I fucking. Th- that just brought back. Remember the wall that you punch and there was cash in there? <laughs> Your dad used to do it all the time. <laughs> there's, there's no money behind the drywall. <laughs> I thought I had a hundred back here. You don't remember that one as paper? And you, of course. And then you pulled and there was that was another cash prize. Yeah. Shout out to the Barker. He was fucking letting everybody wet their beaks in the nineties. It's not bad. Let me tell you something. Uh, this is real trashy. But I've been fucking with uh, a little TV network they got called uh, Buzzer, which is all the old game shows. But it's like 70s, 80s, early 90s. You got like Password, Match Game, Password Plus, Super Password. Man. All Mark Goodson <laughs> productions. It's fun. Dude, it was all, it's so nostalgic to sit and watch that stuff. Yeah, I got it. I tell you, those guys really crossed the line a lot, man. Yeah, they, they got were, they got handsy, whoa, they got wordsy. Whoa, 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 it was a lot of like, hey, God. sugar tits, how are you single? That kind dude, of stuff. Yeah, how do you get up? Dude, Bob Barker used to just smooch everybody. <laughs> that's, yeah. That's yeah. why you had the long mic. You just lift up your skirt with it, <laughs> fucking scumbag. And then sniff it. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, man. Other than that, it's all right. But you, there's a couple of situations you're like, oh, there's no way this. All those like, uh, let's make a date. Not let's make a date. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what's the dating one? The like, dating game, mystery date, or the dating game, or fucking yeah, the dating game. Three losers and a whore, as I like to call it. <laughs> What would you do if I was an ice cream guy? Yeah, all that shit, but they got real fun. Oh, the newlywed I'd game. i put sprinkles on you. The newlywed game was another oh, one. yeah. Where they were like, what are you doing on your birthday? And girls would be like, anal. You're like, what the fuck? <laughs> I fuck I his brother. Talking, I was talking about dinner. What are you doing? Jeez. Which is weird. Isn't it strange that, uh, so in like the 50s, it was, you know, TV had to be like super clean. And then somewhere in like the late 60s, 70s, early 80s, it got real wild. It was the Wild West. Like, I mean, the shit they're talking about in these game shows. You're jerking off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the little guy's popping up to see what's on TV. Yeah. And now, like, there's no way any of that would fly now. No. It's weird, that, like, cycle. You know what I mean? It's almost like it follows the rise and fall of uncut cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Barker was doing toots for sure, dude. Start doing a couple of sniffies in the radio room. You let a couple of things fly. Uh, Uh, Great question. Fantastic Um, question. Let's see. This is another, dude. This is a fucking, uh, this is uh, from Tim Big Crawl McGraw Monroe. Uh, Have you ever set your GPS direction to avoid tolls? I, this, I can't believe that this question came up. Why? You do you don't do that. Are you out of your mind? You're an easy pass man. I'm not, but somebody I know is. <laughs> <laughs> shout, shout out to mom and dad who were footing a bill on that one. <laughs> well, he's got the easiest pass. <laughs> that goes right to the home office. I don't even see the bill. Call it sleazy pass with your mom. <laughs> Sometimes I switch hers out. <laughs> Keep no, them guessing. No, was but, I in New York yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> Dumb broad. Don't know she, you don't she know is. where she is. <laughs> you want to see helicopters? <laughs> She's taking that heart medication. You don't know what's going on. No, we. Uh, I pick up Shaggy over here at fucking Grand Central. <laughs> That's a great <laughs> name. <laughs> <laughs> Couple of Scooby snacks for you two on the ride down. <laughs> this kid's on goofballs. <laughs> um, I pick him up. I scoop him up, and then sure. and then. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to sneak out of town through the Lincoln Tunnel. That's all fucked up. I don't know what was going on. Okay. Like a monkey fucking a football in there. It was a fucking Man, nightmare. You, you've been working on that one. You were waiting to squeeze that into <laughs> a conversation. <laughs> came out. Monkey fucking a football. <laughs> I got plenty more where that came from. <laughs> um, no, there was an accident or something in there. So I kept trying to get down to the fucking Holland Tunnel to to get to get to your place. Now, as we discussed I'm a fucking meat and potatoes guy when it comes to direction. Sure. I don't fuck with parkways or express with any of that bullshit if I don't have to. Sure. I go to the turnpike, to the turnpike, to my mosque. To the McDonald's, <laughs> <laughs> to the Burger King, to the Pizza Hut, to the Domino's, to the Applebee's. That's right. To mom's. 
back to Applebee's. That's right. I like to turn pikes because I like to know, especially Jersey. Shout out to Jersey. They really do it right on that New Jersey turnpike. They got a rest stop like every two, three minutes. They got gas. They got snacks. They got Roy's, which is a big seller in my family. You know what I mean? Sure. So the GPS kept fucking sending me back to the Lincoln Tunnel, no matter how many streets I went down. I'm like down at like 20, uh, 21st Street on 7th Avenue. It's like, go back to the Lincoln Tunnel. Go back to the Lincoln Tunnel. What am I fucking asshole? <laughs> Why are you listening to it? What do you mean? Why do you? You don't need it to get out of the city. I kind of do. I'm I, I'm one of those guys. I like to I like to set it and forget it. You know what I mean? I don't like to do. Do you any put it thinking. on to go home? I do. I put it I, like I, to go back to your apartment. No, no, not go back to my apartment, but to my mom's because I don't want to have to think about oh, what do I got to get off? That's why I got the fucking GPS. Listen, my mom's not paying hard on money for this vehicle. Sure. All right. For me to be looking at fucking directions like an asshole. <laughs> All right, I let the fucking car take care. Yeah. Of sure. So got to get your money's worth. I, ha- I got to get your mom's money's worth to get to the fucking Holland Tunnel, which I knew how to get there. But I just I don't know. I, I get real OCD when I was driving. Smart man. We got on our hands, folks. He's been living in New York for up for you've, you've lived in New York for like 17 years and you don't know how to get to the it's Holland all Tunnel. wonkers down there in the village. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. Fucking streets are going every which dude, way. There is no excuse for not knowing how to get out of New York City it's for as long as you lived in New York. I City. can get us out. Unless there's traffic. (laughs) It literally took us the exact length of the film Escape from New York to get (laughs) out of Manhattan. It took us an hour and a half. A lot of McDonald's you got to stop at. (laughs) 90 fucking minutes of this psycho. So I had to pick the one at the bottom. To get to the Holland Tunnel, I had to pick the one no tolls required. Okay. And then I forget about it. Mm -hmm. He's yapping in my ear, talking about some band or whatever. I don't know. And then next thing I know, we're on the fucking Garden State Parkway. Like a couple of fucking assholes. Okay. So I'm freaking out. Sure. I get I get up the turnpike and I start losing it. He was in control of the vehicle the entire time and was like, I don't know what's happening. Yeah, man. He can get lost in a Tesla that drives itself. He's dumb, dude. That's what it is. He's not I a smart that I, man. I, I, I he, thought that he, I had drifted off the turnpike and and, and, and and got on the parkway by accident. But I realized that my GPS He doesn't was even know what highway he's on. Do you just see that? He thought it was possible for him to switch highways and not know it. That's how bad of a driver you are. This guy's out to lunch, and it's everybody else's fault. He'll stop at a green light and be like, so the guy behind him will beep. He's like, what's this guy's problem? Like, oh, we had a little bit of that, too, didn't we? I almost beat up some hillbilly in your in your, in your, uh, your neck of the woods. Why? That cheesesteak plate was, was so, so, by the way. I told you, I didn't co-sign. This is more of a hard, hard feelings, feelings episode. I was going to say it. Oh, Save he's burned it. through his entire I know, thing for that. I know. He's dumb. I don't know what you want from well, me. Well, you were talking about directions. I'm telling you. Yeah, then you were talking about how it took you. Then you went into hard feelings is exactly what you did. Have you ever, go back to fucking Tom's question, have you ever said it to tolls? Just recently, yes. <laughs> yes, Tom, I have. Just this Saturday, as a matter of fact. But by accident. Yes, by accident. Yeah. Yeah. Because our friend, rest in peace, Chris Cotton, would dr- oh. he would turn an hour-long car ride. Four with, days. With a $4 toll to, no lie, a seven-hour car ride. I'd be like, we're spending 10 times more on We'd have to stop for gas every 35 minutes. I remember something funny Chris used to always do is he would never fill the tank yeah. on a trip. Yeah. He would like. We drove to, we, we drove to Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, which is maybe 90 minutes. Maybe. Took us six weeks. Took us six weeks, and we stopped for gas, and he'd be like, let me just get $10. Yeah. And then we'd drive up. Fill it up, We would drive, we'd drive, I don't know, 25 miles and stop at another restaurant. Let me just get another $8 on this one. It was banana. I'm like, dude, I'll give you 20 bucks. Just fill the fucking tank. Taking us forever to get here. He had his system. No, I, I hate all that fucking shit. I, I know. Give me the toll. Give me the toll. I give, give Even it if to I am paying for it. I, give me <laughs> which the I don't. I want to go on record. <laughs> which I will not pay for. That's a family plan. What do you want from me? <laughs> no such thing as oh, I'm sorry. I have a good support system yeah. as I get my career off the ground. Um, <laughs> as I get your career off the ground. <laughs> Because then I got an easy pass. I got an easy pass bill for you. A corporate easy pass bill. I get a call from the accountant. Where the fuck's the fat man going? He's just driving through the bridge back and forth. I think he stopped in the tunnel for a couple hours. Gang, let me ask you a quick question. If yeah. you're having trouble in the home, mm-hmm. if you have a squeaky door, a clogged sink, a wobbly table, 
You get it fixed, right? You don't just leave it unfixed, do you? No way, Jose. No. So why would it be any different in the bedroom? It ain't. If you're having an issue, yeah. we have the answer for you. It's GetRoman.com slash garbage. Yeah. Go now, guys, with Roman. You can get free online evaluation and ongoing treatment for ED, all from the comfort and privacy of your home, mm-hmm. apartment, or condo, mm-hmm. townhouse. I don't know what you got. Depends wherever you are. Doing in life. Whatever, wherever you Could are. Could be your parents' basement. Doesn't matter. Get it fixed. They ain't got to know about it. It's all a U.S. licensed healthcare professional will work with you to find the best treatment plan that works for you. If medication is appropriate, it'll ship to you with free two-day shipping. Wow. The whole process, straightforward, very discreet. So even if you are in your parents' basement, they ain't got to know what's going on. Mm-hmm. Mom's a little secret. Mom's the word. Uh, getting started is super simple. Go to GetRoman.com slash garbage and complete an online visit. Take care of your ED without ever leaving your home. Mm. Complete the online visit today and connect with a healthcare professional and take care of it. What are you waiting for, baby? I don't know. Go to GetRoman.com slash garbage now and you'll get 15 bucks off your first month. It's crazy. I ain't talking for I'm talking a cold. Talking hard, cold, hard kid. Yes. 15 bucks. Who couldn't use that these days? 15 clams in your pocket, daddy. It's really time to take care of your ED. And remember, get started today, and you'll save 15 bucks on your first order of ED treatment. Gang, as you know, Uncle Hank and Kippy are trying to quit smoking like a lot of people out there. Got to get off the Bernies. I've tried the patch. I've tried the nicotine gum. I've tried the inhaler. Next thing you know, you're just getting addicted to the gum and all that stuff. And it all stinks. It all stinks. The gum chews your lips up. Yeah, it's no good. But our friends at Fume Mm -hmm. have found the solution. Fume took a look at the world and noticed that the solutions to quit smoking, like patches or nicotine inhalers, were neither desirable nor easy to use. Mm-mm. In response, Fume has handcrafted beautiful wooden pipes to make the quitting process simple and easy and desirable. You got to smell this thing. It smells like heaven. Yeah, they sent us a whole bunch of them. They're awesome. It's not Fantastic. a It's not a vape or anything corny like that. It doesn't use nicotine, but instead uses these little cores. They're like little pieces of, you know, uh, like cotton balls or mm-hmm. so. They're infused with the world's super plants that are known to help you successfully quit smoking from start to finish. Plus, they taste pretty good Delicious. as well. It's easy peasy. You slide it in there. You take a couple of pulls on it. Everything starts to work. Mm -hmm. So head to breathefume.com. That's B-R-E-A-T-H-E-F-U-M.com. The link will be in the description. Make it easy for you. And use our promo code GARBAGE. Check out the variety of plant-infused cores to start today. Their Conquer Cure, which they sent us, and we've all been pulling on the past couple of days, uh, is the number one cure, number one core for quitting smoking. It's fantastic. So, guys, go to the website, breathefume.com, and use our promo code GARBAGE today. Now, back to, to the, the show. show. Ooh. Hmm. Uh, another great one for a car. This is from Tyler. Ever kept a dealership license plate frame on or the magnet or the sticker after purchasing the car, which is funny. The frame? I, I noticed the frame, and I was kind of proud that I had the frame. Yes, frame, yes. Yeah, for Dealer sure. Dealer tags, trash. Yeah. Trash. I got the heavy. I, they gave me the metal that day. I got the steel front and back, New York, that day. Really? Damn, damn. How'd you get it that day? I don't know. From I don't know deal? what they're doing over there at the key dealership, but they're moving and shaking. Wait, you got it from the dealer? Yeah. What are they, a couple of prisoners there or something <laughs> like that? <laughs> I don't know. It is a key dealership. Baking them up fresh? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> fresh plates? I got shanked when I go in for an oil change. That doesn't make sense. They gave him the medal right there to steal. Bang, bang. He's like, I got to put these on there. I said, you do that, son. I'll you be got, catching a Bernie saying goodbye to the Tigo. You got uh, you got those new New York tags, too. It's pretty, the white ones. Pretty sweet. They're pretty cool. I feel, Real I got to say, I'm a dork. I'm a loser. This is the first time I've ever owned a new car. I feel. I it, concur. It, it feels nice. To have a brand new car with New York tags. On oh, it. man. It's cool. It's nice. It's cool. I feel cool. PA's okay. It's PA's right. okay. It's not Jersey's great. all right. Jersey used to have those sweet ones, those baby blue ones back in the day. Yeah. They were real fucking nice. You can always tell a piece of shit car that still has them. Uh, they're always they're still on like a Taurus or something. That's how we knew we were almost down the shore. That's how scummy. Yeah, you didn't, you didn't even know what a fucking highway you're on now, <laughs> let alone when you were a kid going down the shore. I don't know what was going on. <laughs> um, fantastic question. This fantastic. is from Gary. Do you talk? Oh, wait, hold on. I'm sorry about that dealer thing. I you always keep the dealer thing on there, and I would usually <laughs> maybe take the name from that and give that to the car. Because I had I had a Martin and I had a Murray. 
One was Murray Dodge. Murray Dodge. I yeah, used, we Murray used to get Dodge. a lot of cars from Murray Dodge. Of course. Yeah. Th- th- I think that, they went under. Yeah, they didn't make yeah, it. They didn't make selling happen. me a car. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're approving my family <laughs> yeah. for a two tree truck. Yeah. It ain't going well. I still owe You're, a couple you, payments. You're heading up if you're lending my family money. <laughs> Wait, Kibby, what's the name of that place? Mary Dodge. What? You say that like such a Philadelphia dude. Yeah, I'd say I am what I am. Murray Dodge. Murray Dodge. <laughs> Mary yeah. Dodge. Mary, yeah, he's going to Mary's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go down there and get me a Dodge. And over there, Mary's Dodge. <laughs> Shout out to FC Kerback. <laughs> What's FC Kerback? <laughs> that was a car dealership. In a, in a great northeast. Oh, man. I've been Trash. there. Trash. Ain't that great. The great northeast. Yeah, no <laughs> the northeast ain't that great. I got a shout out to my, my cousin Brendan. He said that joke fucking a decade ago. FC Kerback, his things were, it was called Buda, visit our two locations in the great northeast mm-hmm. or beautiful Roxborough. My cousin, because I've been to Roxborough. <laughs> and ain't that beautiful? And the northeast ain't that great. Trash. Yeah. Dude, you have a voice for local advertisements oh i love when i go back and you like hear on the radio yes come on down i'm like it's i'm like this is a fucking from a bad movie talk about garbage my dad will sit and watch those infomercials for the yeah because he doesn't know what's going on for the local he's waiting for this to come on (laughs) he's watching this right now i love you big guy shout out to the big man but he watches talk uh... about the easy pass bill (laughs) tough break big man um he watches the local infomercial for the local car dealership. Oh, great. My dad used to watch those, too. That's insane. Also, too, you... And yeah, one girl's pretty at. <laughs> my dad like used 90. to watch, too, for some reason, on, like, Channel 21, they used to do... It was, like, an all-African-American uh, dance club, mm-hmm. and they used to do line dancing. You know what I mean? Like, the like the electric slide type dance, like, that oh, kind of okay. line. Not, like, cowboy line dancing, mm-hmm. but, like... And he, they just it would be on for like four or five hours, dude. My dad would fucking get a big plate of chips, a couple <laughs> fucking sodas, and hang out and just watch that. Really? I guess he liked the music, and maybe he was taking some pointers or something. He was hanging out. It was, dude. It was so low budget. It was like it was locally. It only went to like nine TVs. It was like super local. He's trying to learn how to talk to black chicks. <laughs> I trying to make his move. I'd never seen it in any other. TV. It wasn't on at my mom's head. It was nowhere to be found. Only it might, it must have been a special package we had. <laughs> Banana. Uh, uh, good stuff. Uh, all right. This is uh, this is from Renee, true blue screwed in kid fielder. Shout out to Hister Hyenas. Uh, have you ever scraped the ice from your car, windshield, rear windows using a credit card? Credit card, no. CD case. CD case was sure. the go to. Credit card ain't too shabby, though. Probably it gets you in there. Yeah. CD case was. Not the best. It was a little wonky. They broke quick. Mm. I the best until it, they would break was the actual CD. I used to do that with like a burnt CD. Wow. Yeah. If I didn't have a fucking scraper, who had a scraper? I mean, I don't know. They just invented those like two weeks <laughs> a ago. couple of weeks ago. I yeah. didn't. I'd never even knew of those. One of the funniest things I've ever seen in my entire life. I got in my buddy's car. He turned it on, and this fucking like like Backstreet Boys or some shit came on. He goes, ah, oh, my fucking sister was in the car. He ejects a CD and threw it out the window. <laughs> I had a buddy do that, and my mind was, but those CDs were still like 20 bucks. Yeah. It's incredible. And it was, it was like, I forget what CD it was. It was a rap CD that he bought and was like frustrated with it. And he was just like, it was supposed to be good. It might have been he bought a Chopped and Screwed. Remember Chopped and Screwed? They slowed it down so when you drink Promethazine, it would be even slower. Wait, Sip and scissor. So the song was like, Fucking, hey, what's everybody? That was how it played on the CD. It was called Chopped and Screwed. And then when you got... when you Is this the name of a song? No, it was a style of music. They slowed down rap even more. It's a Houston thing, DJ Screw. Yeah. That has to be a DJ Screw song for it to be officially Chopped and Screwed, but it has become its own genre of music. Oh, at the time, it was... Uh, it was what the f- fuck? Yeah. Shout, out, shout out the Screwed Up Click. Um, You would drink Promethazine, it would slow it down even more. So it was... What's Promethazine? Scissorp. Sip and Scissorp. Cough syrup. Oh, what are you, a fucking nun all of a sudden? Like Jesus. Robitussin? Yeah, no, like permit. No, I pers- did adult drugs like a fucking grown up. I'm not drinking cough medicine. <laughs> Meanwhile, I was addicted to fucking Starburst over here. <laughs> Foley, you would love it. It's a prescription strength uh, cough syrup that's mm-hmm. full of fucking. I'm listening. That's it's an opioid, and you mix Excellent. it. Excellent. You mix it. <laughs> you mix it with soda and put a Jolly Rancher at the bottom. Ah. Hmm. Interesting. Look over. He's got two plastic cups. <laughs> he's got two. He's like Lil cups. Wayne. Yeah. <laughs> Stay tuned for a hot new bonus episode. <laughs> Chopped and screwed <laughs> over there on Patreon. We're gonna slow it down. I'm gonna get my zizzer upon. <laughs> um, so they would slow it down because you'd be all fucked up, and, and it would slow it down even just like it would trip you out even more. 
Ah, oh, man. Uh, whatever. We, my buddy bought it, and we were, like, so hyped. We were, like, pulling out of the Oxford Valley Mall parking lot, and it was a chopped and screwed version. <laughs> Fucking tossed it out the window. My mind was blown. Grow some balls and get a Coke dealer. What <laughs> the fuck? You drinking scissor. Come That's on, how you do man. it. You used to dip blunts in it, too. Ugh. Did you ever get wet? I've been playing this. <laughs> I've been playing this all week, Foley. <laughs> You've been playing in this all day. Uh, great question. Great. Um, this is from Gary. Uh, do you talk Gary. with Gary? Do you talk with a cigarette in your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> what am I, an old mechanic? <laughs> yeah, that's a tough. The smoke's going in your eye. Yeah. I dude, I tried to pull that off for so long. Yeah, you. It's it's the cooler version, I think. I don't know. It doesn't. I can't do. It. I can't do it. I don't look cool. You end up eating either. them. <laughs> Just get shorter and shorter. I'm probably burn my lip. Nah, I never looked cool smoking. I always felt like when people, especially when I when I got larger, bigger, put on weight. Hey, you're not that big. Okay. Um. Really? Chopped and screwed. <laughs> <laughs> you're not that big. <laughs> I whenever I smoked, I would see people looking at me like, "Oh my god!" He like I don't think I didn't look good smoking. What would that? What would the people think? They would t- think that I was I look like a loser, like a fat pig smoking. <laughs> is that what they think, or is that what you think? That's what my head would tell <laughs> yeah, me. Yeah, because I, I don't think anybody ever stopped and told you that. Excuse me, sir. You look like a fat pig. That's <laughs> that's all on you. This guy's a bonkos. Yeah, isn't it weird? Like you were saying, isn't it weird that like, like when if I had a smoke, I quit smoke. I'm completely done. No nicotine gum. No nothing. I'm not, I'm, not done. I'm not touching it. I'm done. I'm off. I'm okay. off the skag. All right? Watched you smoke a cigarette on Saturday. In his defense, I think he told me Sunday. Yes. <laughs> it's Tuesday. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's pretty so good. So the last one you had was Sunday. So you went Monday. Sunday and Monday. But you said you had one Sunday. I didn't say that. You said the last time I smoked was Sunday. No, I didn't say that. When was the last Nor time? can you prove it. All right. Okay. Prank caller. Anyway, point being. <laughs> Look over and smoking. <laughs> Wait, Foley, you got a light? Kim, you got a light? He's like tapping himself. Don't you worry about my lies. But if I. If I, I buddy, I stopped years if ago. If I have a cigarette, it smell, I, I smell like shit. Yeah. But if like, I feel like if an attractive uh, person has a cigarette, they don't smell as cigarette-y. They almost smell good. They have like that. Well, yeah, it's not mixing with Slim Jims. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's not a lot of cured meat on fucking on dudes with tight bodies, okay? <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> good looking dudes aren't walking around smelling like Swedish meatballs, all right? Ooh. Shout out to Ikea. Shout out. Don't need an Allen wrench for that. <laughs> Open up some fucking Sweeties. <laughs> Love the Swedish meatballs. Yeah, they were kid. horse for a long time. What? They got caught, yeah. They got caught? You didn't know that? What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Toby doesn't believe me. Immediately goes to the computer. Fucking. They got, they got, they got beat up bad. They got hemmed up. Fucking Belgians. I guess uh, uh, Swedish, you know? Yeah. Uh, Still keeping an eye on them. Yeah, they got, they, got, they got jammed up pretty bad. Damn. Swedes eating horse meat. Yeah, they're fucking boncos, those guys. Jesus. Yeah, it was only in Europe. That don't count. Yeah. Care what you do over there. <laughs> That's like the Wild Wild West. Yeah, you cross the 59th Street Bridge. <laughs> Better be ground beef in those meatballs, buddy. Tell you that right now. They we're using a family recipe. <laughs> <laughs> My friend Joe, Joe, Joe Remachinator eats horse all the time. Gets it from his butcher. <laughs> <laughs> all right, this is from Dylan. Dylan. Shout out to D Bone. Uh, is it trash to still wear a hoodie or a t shirt from a job that you've quit or been fired from? Yeah, buddy, if you're rocking a fucking Pizza Hut shirt on a, out on a Friday night, yeah. it's trash. I never had that problem because I never, I destroyed every piece of clothing I ever had from, from a restaurant. Like, but as like an act of like defiance? No, it's like an act of being fat because I got shit all over it when I was fucking working. I was a slob. <laughs> towards the towards, towards my end, end of my tenure at the old Bear Burger, my shirt was disgusting. Yeah, you always had like waiter. You could tell even... You had clothes that were even when they were clean, they were dirty. Like you like the I'll waiter that shows that. up in like the pants that you're like you went too long without washing those things and mm-hmm. now they're just permanently yeah. dingy. There ain't enough shout in the world to nah. get that shit out. Bonus points if you ever use the old uniform to get an employee discount right in if you've done it, because I'm sure somebody listens has. Oh my oh. god. That's so weird. No, what? 
I show up to fucking Pep Boys wearing a Pep Boys yeah. outfit. They I work here, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> Don't I? <laughs> See you on Tuesday. Uh, Get on the intercom, ask for yourself. <laughs> for a long- <laughs> <laughs> Would uh, Henry come to the front desk? Henry come to the- You see? what I tell you? Huh? <laughs> Can the cashier give Henry $10,000? Can the cashier give Henry $10,000? You heard the man. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. No. Ah. Uh, you're uh, a penny pincher like that. You do those. T Bone's kind of cheap. He is. T Bone's a cheap guy. I'm looking at a bunch of cameras that would say otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> That's not cheap. Just because you won't invest yeah. in yourself. But you're a penny pincher. I like the deal. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm. I'm just frugal, broke, poor, still. Yeah. That's all changing. We're coming up. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> What was I going to say? Hold on. I want to know which place did you do that? No, I didn't say I did it. I was saying if someone who listens. I wouldn't. Dude, right I wouldn't in. put it past. Some of our listeners are savages. Yeah. I wouldn't even know what you would do. What do you put on like a McDonald's shirt? Hey, I work here. <laughs> Let me get some fries. <laughs> yeah. Yo, I once I worked at a, I worked at Geno's East in Chicago. They opened up a brew Chicago. pub. Geno's East, Chicago. Come by. Down there. Up- down there. Rosemans. Try the upside down pizza. You won't know what to do with yourself, but you'll burn your tongue. Takes Come nine, by. <laughs> takes nine hours. No, they opened up a brew pub. It was fancier. So I took a date over there and then used my employee discount because I worked at the other location. Uh. Oh, I hope you didn't have sex with this person. Of course I did. They went on a date with me. Oh, Jesus. Did she Christ. know that you were breaking your employee discount? I think so. Oh. Did you make her pay half? What? No, 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 no. You know, no. At regular price. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, the, I, I'm technically the employee, so that'll be coming out of my <laughs> I don't remember you working Saturday brunch last week. Mm-hmm. Um, That's garbage. Well, I worked, at, I worked at Acme the... Supermarket growing up, and they gave me uh, a, fa- a a family. How much of the spaghetti? <laughs> How much if you work here? <laughs> How much of the loose rolls? <laughs> now, do I get a discount because I used to bag groceries here? Hey, my manager sent me over to get some loose rolls and old pickles. <laughs> Remember the pickles in the in the barrel? Ah, oh. the kosher pickles. Ah, oh. my dad was a big kosher pick guy. If your fucking grocery store's deli counter didn't have that big ass fucking barrel in the front with a bunch Wooden of barrel. fucking pickies in there, yeah. yeah, you're doing it all wrong. You were bobbing for pickles in oh. there as a little kid. My mom used to let us. She said we used to be able to get our own pickles. I was saying using your mouth, <laughs> butt cheeks first. <laughs> <laughs> you're boofing the pickles. <laughs> Ah. Those are the big boys, too. Henry! <laughs> yeah, look over. <laughs> yeah. Um, but we had, they gave me a card, like a key card, like till you'd swipe, like your bonus savings card or whatever. A key card? But like it goes on the, your keychain. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Like the little yeah, like, pad. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they were like, hey, do you have if your- If you have those, you're trash, Do you too. have your super My shopper? mom has eight million of those. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Eight yeah, million. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, my mom's a janitor of savings. Uh, she, you swipe that, but it would give you a ten percent off of your groceries. So my, I gave one to my sister, and then she used it until they were like, she used it for like a decade after, because they, they didn't like stop it or whatever. She got kids, fucking the weekly, the week. She, she did the order, the formula, the diapers, ten percent off all that. So, tampons, tampons. Well, I remember at one point they were like, "Yeah, miss, Condoms. where did you get this? This thing's from like the fucking eighties. And they were like, "Yeah, this is the, we don't do this promotion anymore." So they fucking snatched it. From <laughs> ah, what the fuck? She's going in the back and grabbing a pallet of Wonder Bread like Ocean's <laughs> Eleven. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Crash. Um. Uh, uh, ba 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 ba. Let's see. This is for Miles. Shout out to Miles. Mm-hmm. Have you ever put a jacket or a hoodie over the garbage in your car to hide it before picking someone up? Wait, what? Have you? Oh, just oh, just okay. I, like cover the mess. I picture like a trash bag in the passenger seat. And you put a jacket <laughs> on it. Put the seatbelt on <laughs> it first. <laughs> so it looks like you got some muscle with you. Make, so. it, make it look like a person. Uh, yeah, for sure, I would do that. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Blanket. I did that with him on Saturday. Yeah, <laughs> cover, cover the McDonald's. Evidence. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was. I for some reason. I had a beach towel in my car. I guess when we were down the shore or something, and uh, we never used them. They were just folded in the back. And then somebody was getting in, and I was like, "Fucking!" I like nicely placed it over. It was like a flamingo beach towel, which <laughs> looks worse than the trash. But yeah, you gotta you gotta fucking keep up appearances. Yeah, I like trashing. I like putting my trash in there though. 
You know what I mean? Because you're lazy. Feel, no, it feels like yours. You know? And then you clean it out and you get it, you know, you get a detail, get the car hooked up That's nice. That's the most insane logic I've ever heard in my life. It's like you throw your... trash in your car to make it feel like it's yours? It's your space. You're just used to living in your trash? That's mean? what marks. That's what identifies your space as sitting in your own car. You did not think this one out. Be, being... This is your laziness because you do it here. You litter all your shit behind here, your yeah. fucking boogies. Yeah, that's gross. It's laziness. Is There's it? a trash can nine feet from you. It's full. Yet your trash collects you behind you. It's full, the trash over there. Yeah, why don't you take it? You wouldn't even know where to put it. I'd ask you. <laughs> you put it in your car. <laughs> <laughs> Save it for later. <laughs> hey, I call trash. <laughs> put some sweatpants on them. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, let's see here. This one's nuts. This is from Put Some Respect on My Name. Master P, I know that one. No, Little Petey, uh, Petey Bird, Birdman, Birdman, right? Is that who it is? That's been, who it is. This has been word association with an idiot, folks. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you ever retake fast food, cu- fast food soda cups when you go back to a place? I assume to not have to buy one. We got this question a couple times, actually. Like, will you go to McDonald's with a McDonald's cup in your car mm. and then fill that up so you don't have to buy another drink? Do they let you do that? You can just hand them the cup and say, hey, fill this up? No, a lot of places you do it on your own. Oh, outside. No. I'm like, so you're taking your own cup under the disguise that you you bought it. I'm a drive through man. I'm not, I'm not walking in. Hey, can you fill this up? <laughs> <laughs> hand it to them. I was just here. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I don't fuck with that shit. Yeah, that's nuts. I don't even like doing the water cup. I buy, uh, I buy the I, Coke. It gives you the anxiety you're going to get caught. <laughs> I know. I'm and like, I'm not giving some fucking jerk off at a Chipotle the satisfaction of kicking me out before I've enjoyed my bowl. I'll give you the fucking 250 for the Mr. Pibbs. I don't care. Yeah. I, Make yeah, sure the chips are fresh. I feel the same way. Uh, I think I've done it like once or twice, and it is just anxiety. And I feel like a piece of shit. Yeah, I mean, listen, if you're a, a parent and, you know, you got fucking four kids and you got to take them to Mickey D's, yeah, I'd make those little rugrats fucking hang on to them. But then what's that teaching them? <clears throat> you know? Sure. Next thing you know, you're using your fucking employee ID on a date. <laughs> <laughs> like a grease ball. Yeah. Uh, this is a fucking home run. Uh, this is from No Famous Franco. Do you uh, Have you ever owned an electric dartboard? <laughs> an electric one? I knew you weren't going to know what that is. The That's one, too many words for you. The one that doesn't have the... The one that's... What's electric mean? Boogie, woogie, woogie. <laughs> My dad's dancing. <laughs> do the hustle. Do, 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 it was all shit like that. He loved watching it. We would just sit there and watch it. Oh, my God. Um, electric, electronic dartboard. What are you not getting about uh, slow, this? Wait, first of all, you're yelling at me. All right, not see, now I need a cigarette. All right. <laughs> and McDonald's. Somebody get me a cup. <laughs> There's some trash around me. I feel more in my space. You look over your bob. Got your head in the trash. Are can. you talking about the ones that don't have points on them, but the, the dartboard has holes in them? Yes. Yes. All right, what's electric about that? What do you mean? Well, that, it, that tallies, the, tallies the score. It, what does it I do? I can't say that word. Say it again? It counts the score. No, say, say, <laughs> it accumulates the numbers. Say tallies. <laughs> Foley just outed himself as just being the biggest piece of garbage because he has used an electric dartboard, but he's never used one that has been plugged, plugged in. in or had batteries. <laughs> no. Yeah. No. Those don't work. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom never let you plug it in because she's a wacko. No. Um... Yeah, they were real trashy. Yeah, you got to go were... classic. Like we have that one over there. That was like thirty-four bucks or something. Yeah, that's you got to go. That's classic. the fucking classic one. We don't have a potato. We should have a potato though. For lunch, for a potato. You put a potato. You put you put the darts in a potato. It keeps them sharp. You okay. never heard that? Yeah, you get a you get a potato. Okay. Baked or fried. <laughs> you chop it up, drop it in, <laughs> drop it in a pan of oil. Three fifty. <laughs> I like to mash myself. <laughs> no, you, you stick it. You stick a potato. You stick them in a potato. Okay. And it keeps the fucking dart sharp. <laughs> okay. What aren't no. you getting about this, pimples? Huh? You, you said we need one. Yeah, you want to catch sharp darts. <laughs> fucking embarrassing. <laughs> People want to come in. <laughs> fucking like an asshole. Uh, great question. Fantastic. Uh, well, that was... Th- so, to me, that was a thing of the 90s, where it go Like, the late 90s, where they were like, let's fucking make everything electronic, right? And it sucked. It was the, it was the idea of... 
think plastic's super cheap. We can now have the technology to do this and make it affordable to people, but it's like so unactual usable. Trash. And that, you had to like get it perfectly in that little hole. Yeah. And the darts were plastic. They uh, always bent. They were socks. It's like, what the fuck? I remember I went over to my buddy's. I'm like, dude, this thing stinks. Yeah. Plus, you couldn't throw it at your buddies. smoke cigs or something. Arm. Yeah. That was awful. That. I remember when they when they fucked up the etching sketch. They tried to like make that electronic. Etch a sketch. Yeah, they stupid. made that electronic. Something. It's an iPad. <laughs> watch a movie. All these fucking watching Lord of the Rings on an etch a sketch. <laughs> Trying to make my smiley face. I used to be mean on an etch a sketch. Really? I was terrible at that shit. It's terrible. Really? I pegged you as an artist. But the, they also they all remember when they tried to make Battleship Electric. That was actually pretty sweet. It. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't think I've ever completed a game of Battleship. Always lost interest. Or ate the ships. <laughs> I mean, dude. <laughs> I just wanted to play with the ships. I'd take the pegs. I'd cut the pegs off of them, and I'd have... I'd have... Here in the bathtub as a fucking teenager? <laughs> no, you know what we used to have when I was a kid? In Captain Crunch, you would get a submarine. And if you put a little baking soda in there, it would... It would, it would... In the Captain Crunch? No, in the, in the submarine. They'd give you a little submarine. Okay? I got gotcha. you. I follow you. All right. Buy Captain Crunch. Yeah, listen. Come I'm on. Not you. Let's go. <laughs> you'd put a little baking soda Wait, in there. what's your submarine? You'd put a little baking soda in there, and it would dive. It would, like, swim in the water. It's pretty sweet. Yeah, sounds it. Um, Keep your mind off when you're getting finger blasted in the tub <laughs> by some babysitter. <laughs> he was nice. <laughs> Keep your eyes forward. Um, that was always weird. I had a buddy who was like, he lived in New York when I moved up here. He had a kid. He's like, hey, if you need money, you can babysit. I'm like, a guy babysitters aren't a good fucking look. No, nah, we did yeah. that once, and it no. fucking really backfired on the whole family. It was a situation. They're smoking inside and it, stuff. Dude, it it's was not weird. good. It, no, my cousins, that's a different situation. Of course. They, they would watch us. Of course. But it was one of those nights where the where the multiple families went out. Like my mom, my dad, my uncle, my aunt. They all went out. Yeah, and somebody gets Jim to come over. Or yeah, something. This, I remember this, this. It was a real tense in the house when he walked in. I'm like, I don't know. I feel like a German Shepherd. I didn't like this guy. <laughs> I, was, I was growling <laughs> at him. Yeah, shedding everywhere. And then something weird happened later on in the evening, which he was never. I don't think I ever saw the guy after that. Yeah. <sighs> Sounds like a nice night out. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> um. <laughs> This is from Patrick. Uh, Patrick. When was the last time you illegally dumped something in a dumpster? Illegal? Is this guy a fucking cop? Yeah. What am I supposed to do with it? Leave it somewhere? Illegally dump something in it. That's what dumpsters are for. Unless you yeah, put a chain on it. You don't want me to throw my shit in there. Yeah. Well, like behind like a grocery store or something? Yeah, something. Yeah, it's uh, technically. What would be an illegal dump? You're not allowed to put stuff in those, technically. <laughs> Everyone you've ever taken. <laughs> <a bad drink. laughs> I was going to say, I had some nachos last night. <laughs> yeah. No. Well, yeah, no, what? Yeah, I, well, you, you didn't have nachos last night? I don't know what you're not, <laughs> I don't know what you're not agreeing to. I didn't have nachos last night. Right. I should have. Yeah, no, I didn't ask you a question. You turn around and go, no. <laughs> I don't know what, I, what I've never uh, I've never illegally dumped anything. Oh, <laughs> what am I a fucking dirt ball? What am I done oh, with? Dude. What do you mean? Uh, we were a big dump family. I mean, in my fraternity house, we had a bunch of nitrous tanks in there, and then the national chapter showed up unexpected one Saturday, and we threw them down the hill on ninety five. I don't know if that counts. I don't think so. Yeah, no. Uh, no, we used to go throw shit in dumpsters. Okay, like I've gotten what? caught. When they were like, By get who? that out of here. You're not allowed to have that. Fuck you. Who's telling you that? They're, well, they're private dumpsters. The dumpsters aren't like for the public. That's the dumbest thing I ever heard. If there's a dumpster, if there's a dumpster behind a Kmart, you're allowed to throw your trash in there. No, you're not. Well, what are you supposed to do? Leave it somewhere? What do you mean? Well, that's what's going to happen. What do you mean? Leave what trash somewhere? Well, it's a trash can. Trash cans are for... A dumpster is different than a trash can. Okay. So like a dumpster that you would like... like I know what a dumpster I don't, is. I don't know where... Well, 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 I don't know what the misplaces. I don't think So that. you're throwing like... I'm not saying like throwing a bag of McDonald's in a dumpster. That's... Uh, yeah. That's illegal, you're telling me. Technically, yeah. I'm saying we illegal? used to like throw stuff. We used to like take... Like my dad would always just take stuff from the house and go find a dumpster. Like he just didn't like trash around the house. Uh-huh. So we would find a dumpster every... He'd take a dumpster every day. I don't understand. Like, he would find somewhere, like, where... Why wouldn't you put it in the fucking trash can and wait till trash day? Because he was a fucking weird dude. 
That and like if we ever had like a bet or something you had to get rid of, we would just go find dumpsters and oh, throw it in. Oh yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I got caught. Oh yeah, beds, air conditioners, all that shit. This is yeah. incredible. This is fully learning about not only a new crime, but a new crime he's committed repeatedly. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't understand it. Yeah, you're not allowed to do that. Like, really? That's private. Yeah, they're paying for that. But you get you can get Who's fined paying for, for it. it? Whoever the dumpster. Say you go to like a townhouse, community center or something, right? Or, yeah, they're always wide open. Yeah. They but that's how they on. get. There's a lot of eyes on you because all the people are like. I mean, that's like this? pooping in a hotel. What's, you know. You're, no, you're, they have to pay to get it social, removed. And you're going to pay that. You're going to. Well, I'm saying that. If, I, you're, if you're a business, you're going to pay to have that dumpster, whether I'm putting my mattress in there or not. Sure, but you ha- when you you fill it. Uh-huh. That's what I'm saying. So then if you fill it with a mattress, they can't put their stuff in and have to get it pulled quicker, which then costs them more money. Hey, tough break. It's all yeah. for charity. I, <laughs> I love how he went from not knowing what a dumpster was to, no, I don't do that. To, yeah, we do that all the time. I didn't know what you meant. I now, who's going to give you shit about that? A cop's going to come and bust you for that? No, you're picking it up. Like, if a fucking, say it's a construction site, the mm-hmm. people are like, you can't, like, get the, you're not allowed to do that. That's our private dumpster. I wouldn't do it if there were construction guys around. I'm not saying you are, but you asked me a question and then defended yourself against the question. I'm not saying you would. I'm just saying that's who says that stuff. Uh, okay. If you go to, like, a fucking apartment complex, the mm-hmm. super, you know what I mean? Something. Sure. Yeah. Who, who's ever dumpster it is? Okay, let me ask you this. Say you come down from your building and you have trash in your car. Will you throw it? Will you put it in like a at somebody else's trash can out in front of another building? Like a person's? Yeah. Uh, or a d- buildings? Or do you think that's what do you wrong mean like too? a buildings? Like what building has a trash can? Every building has trash cans. They're all in the alley or behind the thing. Okay, check this out. It's illegal to dump trash in someone else's dumpster without permission. Getting caught doing so is punishable by five hundred dollars plus fines and possible jail time. Can you imagine that? What yeah. are you in for? <laughs> <laughs> I, I threw out an old mattress. <laughs> yeah. Watch out for me. Uh, no, I'll save it for like a Wawa, a 7 Eleven. Like, if it's in my car, I'll. Uh, well, like, we have. I also in my there's trash cans on the corner, so I would throw it in that or something. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'd do that, yeah. Okay. But I'm not, I'm not, we're not talking trash. I'm not talking like a bag of like a fucking soda can and a bag of chips. Mm-hmm. I'm talking like. Large pieces of objects to throw in a dumpster. I got you. Yeah. Like a couch. A couch. Yeah. A uh, fucking, yeah, you. <laughs> <laughs> paint was always a big one. We always had to make paint cans disappear. <laughs> that was, I remember that was always a thing. You're just drinking them? <laughs> you could, well, you couldn't put them in the, in the trash. Yeah. They'd get you. Yeah. So you stop doing whatever you're doing to your finger because it looks gross. I'm not sure what you were doing, but you're making eye contact with me and I could see you zoning out. Okay? I was playing with my cuticle. <laughs> oh. I mean, uh, this guy is something <laughs> else today. What do, you, what do I mean? <laughs> yeah. uh, Having a nice time. <laughs> I know. Enjoying myself. You've been, you, you, you fucking stonewalled me on the last two questions. Electronic dartboard and throwing something in a dumpster. You acted like you didn't know what either one of them were. And then had a very staunch opinion on them at the end of the conversation. <laughs> well, don't ask me criminal questions on a, on a, on a, on a videotape. Oh, uh, man. All right, this one's from Tony P. Uh, Tony P. Have you ever borrowed a friend or family member's handicapped parking permit so you could park closer? Ooh, that's trash. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yep, <laughs> it is. My buddy up. Steve had one in high school, and I. Why? What did he get? He just had one. Like he like, got his. Ha- he was. I, he was like was a car dealer, him? like a used car dealership. No, he just had the. Plaque. You gotta have the plate too. You gotta have. No, the it can pl- just be in the hook. Oh really? I don't think if you just have the hook, I don't think someone's gonna be like, let me well, let me see your fucking handicap cards mm-hmm. or whatever. You're just taking someone's word for it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But we would like pull up to the mall, and he would. Do- I felt so bad. He would park in front of the mall, and like. Four stone fucking park, park in the mall. <laughs> Four stone teenagers would get out. Everybody would be like, "These guys aren't handicapped." You know what I mean? We're like fucking shoving each other and playing grab ass. Wow, no, yeah, we, I we, felt real bad. Yeah, we were never allowed to do that stuff. That was there's some things that the Foley's don't don't cross. Yeah, you know, we, we I like just it. caught you fucking digging your nail again. We we you know we may do a lot of things, but something like that, you know, we, we have lines. That that we draw. Sure. Yeah, we don't we don't take handicap parking. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Uh, all right. This one's from Mike. Uh, is it garbage or travel everywhere you go with a backpack? Yeah, I hate fucking backpacks, especially if you're on the fucking subway and you're an adult man. Take your fucking backpack off. 
You take it off, yeah. They say, well, what New York like what different? Books in there? Who's what the fuck? Like, all right, you have a backpack. Sure. But I'll give you that backpack because that backpack's not packed with shit. Sure. And you, what do you got in there? I have my computer for the show. It's all work stuff. I'm not like rolling out on a fucking Tuesday afternoon with a back with like supplies. Mm-hmm. I got my fucking computer. I got my charger. You know, that's a, that's mainly it. Maybe a T-shirt, a book. Yeah. A dildo. Yeah, backpack guys, get the fuck out of here. Well, New York's shit. a little different. I guess major cities are different, especially like New York as a comedian or whatever. Like you, you and you have a day job. You leave the house. You gotta have a change of clothes. Like you, we were, we used to be out for like fucking fifteen hours, sixteen hours a day. So it was like I leave the house at fucking seven a.m. and I get home till two in the morning or whatever. I need supplies. True. You know what I mean? I got to have a change of clothes. I got to change out of my jerk off business clothes. Mm-hmm. I need a I need a pair of jeans. A pair I never of shoes. understood that. What? Because you look nice in your business clothes. I would just wear the same thing all night. You do that now. Foley's doing spots in an apron. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a hairnet in the butt, the ticket out, writing down people's orders. <laughs> Write my jokes in there. One of the big trays. <laughs> you got a bus boy behind you. <laughs> Get, we're getting ready to drop the appetizer. Uh, Fire the entrees. Um, <laughs> They're annoying, though. The guy in the backpack. If you, it's it's so weird, too, especially in New York, because you'll see fucking like dudes in suits, right? Like I used to work at a, like, a very prestigious, huge law firm. Like mm-hmm. very, very, as top shelf, as high end as you can get. And... I mean, the, the lawyers were worth millions of dollars, and they would be in their, like, fucking whatever. They're, like, nice suits, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And then they'd all be, like, fucking, they'd have, like, big backpacks on. Wouldn't with, that mess up the suit? Yeah, I'm like, you look like a fucking really big third grader, like, trying to get to the bus. <laughs> you look like a fucking asshole. Stepping out of the bins with a Jansport is tough. Yeah, oh. you, yeah, they look like a... <laughs> well, a seven-year-old businessman. They were always the same guy. The guy in the suit with the backpack almost undoubtedly would pull up in the the, the foldable bicycle, which oh. is the biggest fucking dork machine. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If anybody with a foldable bike has ever gotten laid, I don't know what the fuck to tell you. It's a tough. Those, those are tough. Those things are brutal. Yeah. Those guys are always dicks. I got in the way. Yeah. They fucking- always have like elbow pads on and stuff. It's like, uh. what are you doing? <laughs> Somebody get a fucking taxi to hit him. <laughs> Dude. The uh, foldable bike. Well, you know what's funny? Dork. <laughs> what's even worse, so it's up in uh, where I live up in the Heights, the George Washington Bridge is right there. So you see all of the people who are, don't want to pay the toll for the commute every day. Because that toll is like 16 claims. It ain't cheap. So people don't want to do that every day. According that, to my mother. That live right across the bridge or I don't know, whatever. Take their bike in. Their bikes, scooters. You see you see guys in suits on like rollerblades and stuff. Dude. And you're like, what are you? Dude, how are you fucking scooting up to any respectable job like that? Yeah. You look like a bozo. The guys on the scooter zipping around the city. Hit the fucking bricks. I, I don't. I disagree with all that. And I know the Blasio's real big on this. A little inside baseball in New York. The Blasio's big on he wants but more more bikes and more buses and less cars. Get the fuck out of here. This is New York City. Those bike lanes are a fucking nightmare. Plus they're fucking popping out like fucking maniacs. They don't listen. They don't respect any any lights or anything. They're just zipping around because they know if you hit them or they hit you that you got to fucking pay. It's fucking bullshit. <laughs> What was the original question? <laughs> I don't know. Backpacks. Yeah, backpacks. backpacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lose it. Um, this is a no for me. This is another one. This is from Jesse. Uh, did you ever have to fetch a hubcap after, as a kid when your mom nicked the curb or something? I assume you've had to go running out into the turnpike to get one. It's not going on. I tell you, child safety really goes out the window when you fuck <laughs> when you lose a rim. <laughs> I'll tell you that right Riding now. Right dirty. Oh, yeah. I've shagged a few of those. Really? Oh, yeah. We had a, I don't know. It had to be a mid-60s, um, not a Falcon, uh, a Matador. We had a Ford Matador. Olay. <laughs> <laughs> like, before we got our first, like, real family car, that, like, I can, like, they had, like, when b- before we were born, my par- my dad had, like, a Camaro and fucking something. They had a nice Jeep, like a family Jeep. When we were like, we were like babies, but then when we moved to Philly, we had a Ford Matador, and this the hubcaps would pop off on this thing 
like a fucking Hot Wheels, <laughs> and you'd be like, you'd almost be driving with the door halfway open, <laughs> trying to you get it as it's rolling <laughs> off, <laughs> ready to make a move, like Cap Shield or something like that. Yeah, I don't think we never that never happened to me. Whenever my mom never really, she was an all right. The only time she ever hit, she hit one of the pretzel vendors one time. Remember how they do just to stand money? out? <laughs> they, 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 they do just to stand there and hold and sell pretzels like on the corner, like the busy corners. Oh in yeah, Philly. Oh they yeah, they would three for a dollar. Oh, fantastic! They would have the brown paper bags fantastic. with three Philly soft pretzels, and they would sit there. They'd have a crate that they would buy for like you know probably twenty bucks for the day or whatever. Be like Allegheny Avenue or yeah, something yeah, yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah, we always get we always got them at Byberry and fucking like right at Woodhaven and Byberry. That's the guy she hit. He was. She was buying them, and then he bought... I don't know what happened, but he was walking across after she bought the fucking... I'm in the back having my pretzies. <laughs> and the next thing you know, this poor schmuck comes flipping over the front of the car, <laughs> over the windshield. Really? Yeah, he found... He was like, oh, man, he popped right up. I was like, oh, you're good. All right, I'll see you. Your mom's like, you motherfucker forgot my mustard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, it was fucking... She, he, full, he, you know, she flopped that, dude. Damn. Yeah. The piece. No hubcaps, but she was taking out pretzel vendors. For sure. Um, yeah, that's garbage. Yeah. Hubcaps in general are trash. What were they thinking with those? They don't have hubcaps. It's cheaper. But they don't have hubcaps anymore, it's right? It's less because technology has changed and you can now, rims are cheaper to make. Right. Before it was, they were, the rims were expensive, so they made just the, the black shitty rim and then clip a fucking hubcap on there so it looks the same. Mm. Yeah, I mean, interesting. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, this is from Big Texas Jensen, who I think is our boy's uh, Jen. Uh, were you ever? The, I think we've touched on this before. Were you ever the last kid who was picked up from school or practice? I remember multiple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been left a handful of times. Yeah, it sucks. Yeah, it was always my dad. My dad always left me somewhere. Or it was like super late. Yeah, for it sure. sucks. I usually gave a pretty tight attitude. When that when that happened, yeah. Well, I, you feel like a fucking asshole, especially if people are like waiting for you. Like, I got left to school the one time. I don't know if there's a miscommunication of like my mom picking me up or my dad. I think I've told this. I'm hoping you would just not come home. I was in like the fucking. Uh, it was like an after school program. Uh, we've you've made fun of me for this, and he left me there one time. They're like, was it football? <laughs> no, it was cheerleading. Then you're a dork. <laughs> No, it was, I was in elementary school. It was because nobody. My mom wasn't home after you're a latchkey kid. Yeah. The big headed room. <laughs> Put him with the other big headed room. Put him in kid. the padded room. <laughs> the other, with, the guy, with the girl who thinks she's a horse. <laughs> Shout out to Laura. Really? Oh, yeah. Did we talk about this? I don't know. You went to school with a girl who thought she was a horse? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're trying to slip her your carrot? <laughs> <laughs> Meet you out at the stables. Scumbag. <laughs> No, she would obviously, you know. Well, I'm a veterinarian. <laughs> <laughs> obviously, something, bag. something socially, emotionally, you know, uh, mentally, she was all there. I don't know. Obviously, I, had. Oh, you think there was something wrong with her? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks. Uh, obviously, I'm not walking around thinking I'm Sea Biscuit. Yeah, it's fucking. <laughs> you weigh the same. <laughs> Could use a biscuit, huh? <laughs> it's everything Daisy coming up around the corner. And, oh, no, Laura has <laughs> overtaken her on the inside. Well, she, yeah, um, she. Um, Man, that's real fucked up. Yeah. And obviously this is back in the day where like schools now know how to handle they didn't that. Know. They, they just they were like, let yeah. her go. You know, so and all the kids too. everybody was super nice to her because it was like, wait a minute. Hold on. She legit thought she, she was a whore. She didn't talk very little. A lot of nays and the. <laughs> I swear to God. Yikes. <laughs> yeah. She was like a senator. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure I got that one. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> I laughed it in and I'm like, oh, they're not doing it either. All opposed? Nay. Oh, man. Man, this guy. I'm opposed to that joke. Fucking. Nothing on that. Come on. <laughs> it's just, this whole thing's just set up. <laughs> T-Bone, you really got to connect the dots sometimes. Yeah. It's like Tinker Taylor, Soldier Spy over Speaking here. Speaking Cogni over yeah. here. Barney Rubble, Trouble. <laughs> yeah. um, we'll the, be in Rubble. Um, the nays have it. <laughs> yeah, and she thought she was. it was a prop. Aw, poor um, kid. So, What's she doing now? Last time I saw her, she was working at... Uh, Running at the Belmont? <laughs> <laughs> She's glue. All right. <laughs> They had meat, to put her down. They're on. making meatballs out of her at Ikea. <laughs> Only in Europe. That's how you bring it back. 
That uh, sucks. That poor kid. Um, she was yeah, she was super not yeah she but she would um, she would stand in the back like if we had a lineup to go to like gym class or whatever. She would stand there with her one foot up. You know how like horses stand with like the one foot. Dude, I had a lot of anxiety when I was a kid. I couldn't have handled that. I fucking need this like a hole in my head. It was no, it was very normal back then. We, I, she was she, she went to school with us since kindergarten. So like by second grade, you're like, yeah, well, that's would, her. Would you go to school the X Men Academy? What, what do you mean that was normal back then? By the, dude, I mean like we were just like, okay, she thinks she's a horse. I mean, you're not gonna be. You, you, there's not a lot of meat on the bone. You can only make fun of it for so long. Until you're, yeah, that's what she, that's her thing. You know what I mean? Shit. So she was accepted. Everything is. I mean, it's fine. Her parents were, they would come to, their parents were wacky. Yeah, they were probably goofballs, which <laughs> fucked the kid up. Yeah, but um, the one time there was, uh, there was a sub and she would set, she was allowed to just kind of do whatever she wanted, you know what I mean? So she set up a bunch of chairs. What class were you in when? What do you mean? I mean, usually, I mean, I'm older than you. She, oh, I know. And those situations were usually, how do I put this delicately? They were sorted out. They were, you know, there were certain classes for certain people. Yeah, yeah, So yeah, my yeah. question to you is, what were you pretending to be? <laughs> that you were in the, you were on fucking Noah's Ark with the fucking, <laughs> well, what class was that? I had a football helmet on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, no, just she was in regular classes. I don't think she was. I'm I don't t- think you were in regular I'm classes. T- buddy, this is coming from a guy who doesn't know what an electronic dartboard is. And then, no, I I. I was in normal classes. Normal raccoon classes. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin the squirrel. My teacher Ryan. was an alligator. <laughs> <laughs> everybody, turn your page, turn your books to page thirty-two. Everybody, just a big alligator. All right. I mean, guys, come on. No normal class. I think uh, because mentally she was there. Emotionally, they were so like whatever, man. I don't fucking know. And the whole school knew she was a horse girl, and they just let her fucking It This nate. sounds like you hooked up with her and you're trying to justify it to your <laughs> friends. <laughs> she's mentally, she's all there. Yeah. Um, she doing okay now, do you know? I saw her working at a fast food restaurant. Oh, really? So, yeah, I mean, she's got it together. Okay. She's doing all right. Um, fries were a little soggy, but... <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk to your manager. <laughs> Let me talk to the- <laughs> Let me talk to your jockey. Yeah, this is yeah, ridiculous. Yeah, say. she can't work the counter because she gets spooked when people walk behind her. <laughs> She's kicking the guy. She's kicking the guy on the grill. <laughs> She's got to work back at house. <laughs> hey, I needed a cover tonight. Laura threw a shoe. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's terrible. I'm telling you, man. I, we didn't make fun of her, but the one time. So we had a couple situations like that too. Yeah, there wasn't really a lot. I of thought that. he was a beaver. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just there wasn't. Uh, and even for the eighties, I, I think this is pretty. Nobody really messed with anybody that had like a situation. They 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 weren't they weren't fucked with. Yeah, no, they, I'm mean? telling you, because you were a jerk. That's off. what it was, dude. It was so normal. But if you were fat, oh man, if you if you were a regular civilian. Fucking and the boys came in. You got it, and you got it good. <laughs> yeah. We had a couple of serious bullies in my fucking schools coming up. Yeah, kids that were like hit by their parents that would come in looking to take it out on somebody, and man, did they! <laughs> it wasn't. That, I had yeah. a velour. I had a. I had a, a maroon velour sweatsuit that I wore once. <sighs> <laughs> it was a long day. Yeah, I, and that's tough too. That. When you're just like. You're hemmed up. You got to like uh, maybe take the top off so it's not as much. Uh, put the top in the locker. See if somebody has gym shorts or something. I'll never forget it, man. It was a maroon like Adidas fucking sweatsuit that like didn't have. It was like they were like almost like pants. They were sweatpants, but they didn't have like the, the cuff at the bottom. Mm-hmm. They were just, oh, man. Straight legged. Oh, uh, yeah. Straight legged. Oh, I don't know what I was thinking. Look. I look like a little gym teacher. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you were little. <laughs> Dude, we got to take the power back from these bullies. We got to get you a fucking velour maroon yeah. jump shoot rocking on a pod. Yeah, right. Look pretty good. Um, that reminded me one time I wore, uh, so it was high school. It was probably high school, early high school, ninth, 10th grade. I think I was getting driven to school probably. You know, it was like, I don't know, whatever. I was 15, 16. And 
those mornings, it was so early and not, like all the lights were on. I remember like a handful of times you would get to school and be like, what the fuck did I choose that? Like, where something, you know what I mean? It just, but I took early. I flicked the lights on to brush my teeth and shit. I wasn't getting dressed in I the know, dark. I, no, I just remember like there was something that was like wrinkled or a stain what on something. What are you, the other woman <laughs> sneaking out of the house? No, I didn't get it. <laughs> um, but this, the one, but I'm just saying things are moving quick in the morning. You're not, you're, you're not, you don't have all your gears aren't going. You don't have all your bearings. You know what I mean? You're more likely to make a mistake. Pants are on your top. Uh, shirts on the bottom. So I, uh, I had a sweatshirt, a hoodie that I guess was left in the washer too long. And by, I got to like the first period class. I'm like, fuck is that smell? It has that moldy smell. And I'm like, fuck is that smell? And I was a fat kid, so wh- I didn't. Yo, yeah, well, Aquaman, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> hey, mold boy. <laughs> <laughs> Moldy Ryan over it's the here. adventures of mold boy. <laughs> um, oh, that's a and dude, thing. even worse, I, I think it was a bad laundry there or something. I didn't. Typically, I always made sure I had a shirt under the sweatshirt that I could wear. I could take this, but I had something like really tight that was like optically worse than the smell was of the hoodie. So I just had to fucking hem up and have this thing. Oh, dude, talk about self-conscious. Oh, man. <laughs> I was a tough one. Tough. I was like, anybody got cologne? Like I was, I didn't have gym that day, but cologne, I was, you're in I, third was grade. I was, no, I was 16. <laughs> this is high school. Yeah. Oh, Man, yeah, that's a tough look. <laughs> I know, fucking Boldy Ryan over here. <laughs> Yikes! Yeah, that's Damn. gonna be the artwork that everybody does. Boldy <sighs> Ryan. Boldy um, Ryan. Yeah, it was a tough one. I remember. Shout out to that fucking AJ who hit me with like some fucking eternity by Calvin Klein to douse on myself. Yeah, we all took our lumps. You know uh, what I mean? Yeah. But okay. <laughs> so, of course. <laughs> you, you just said like you were wrapping up a musical or something. <laughs> we all took our lumps. That's what we did. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, let's rip through a couple of more here. Hot cues, baby. I got to give it to the fucking garbage. The, the, they got some hot fucking Fantastic. Cues. This is from Austin. We've touched on this before. Playing the lawn, the, the lawn sprinkler drink from the garden hose for sure. Sure. Big fan. Big fan. Big fan of the sprinkler. Ice cold. Yeah. Especially if you caught it on the side of the house where the sun wasn't and it was cool. Mm-hmm. It's coming out. Let it run for a little bit. Clean living. Oh. Yeah. What was it, baby? Uh, Fantastic. This is from Kim. Have you ever used a washing machine as a cooler at a party? That is top notch trash. Wait, like put I knew I- you weren't going to understand that. <laughs> put ice in the washing machine? Yeah. What do you do with the ice afterwards? It melts. It's a washing machine. They fill with water. It's pretty ingenious when you think about it. Wow. Yeah. Throw a load of whites in. <laughs> Everybody got cool water in there. Put, turn it on a little bit, shake it up, get it moving. <laughs> Make jungle juice. It's in there. the perfect high school crime. Yeah, it's like killing a guy with an ice pick. It's no evidence. <laughs> nice, not an ice pick. That's uh, true. Icicle. An icicle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not <laughs> too shabby. Killing a guy with an ice pick. That's just murder. <laughs> uh, Damn. Yeah. That's fucking trash. Yeah. Never done it. Like we've talked about. Like you make that the bar and cover with like the red plastic thin thing from the dollar store. Yes. Put an ice bucket on there. A couple yes. of two, maybe three liters if you got company coming yeah. over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice bottle of maraschino cherries, mm-hmm. fresh. Cut up a couple of limes. But I never did that. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's real trash. I think in college, if I'm not mistaken, the bathtub was turned into uh, a cooler at one point. That makes sense. Filled that with ice and put the beers and all that shit in there. Makes sense, I guess. Yeah. Hotel rooms, I'll do like the, you know, you always got to do the fucking, the sink, fill the sink with ice, dump the beers in there in the hotel room. You do that now? Like as in, like you, just you and your girl go somewhere? What uh, sink are you using? We stay in nice hotels that typically have two sinks. Last hotel, the, well, the last hotel we just did that. I put it on Instagram. Two sinks? Yeah. Why don't you just put it in the ice bucket? It was a six pack. <laughs> fucking six packs aren't going to fit in the ice. What am I, a fucking jerk off? <laughs> yeah, no, come on. Well, you yeah, are nouveau a riche, my friend. Is that the right uh-huh. phrase? Nouveau riche? Is that new rich? If I was rich, sure, it would be the right phrase. Hmm. I'm, nouveau, I'm existing poor. I don't know. Um, 
All right, this is from uh, so there we got two or three left here. This is from Beautiful. David uh, David Duda. Uh, let's see. This back to the car. What's the? This is what's the? Uh, how long is acceptable to leave the price sticker or the package detail on the window of your new car? That day. Yeah, what the fuck? I know. That that day. They didn't even put mine on the car. I wasn't even on the car. I, I get rid of all. I, listen, I don't save the fucking sneaker box. I don't save the fucking phone box. I don't save any of that shit. I want to get out of it, rip it up, throw it away. I don't want to. I want to move past the purchase. Mm-hmm. Leave that thing in the window. What the fuck is that? What, what are you showing off? Driving around with a number with a slash through it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I ever told you we went to. I'd keep those up. The one, the, those numbers on the on the windshield. Yeah, like the. So I don't know if I ever told you. We went to my brother needed a car. He was hemmed up, and he went, and we were, like, we were looking at, like, old used cars for, like, super cheap or whatever. And, like, we are like, oh, the budget's, I don't know, fucking 5000 some whatever it was. And I think he was in high school or college, and um, we were there with my mom. We are walking around. She goes, oh, this one's only... This one's under. This one's only one thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars. This one's only one thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars. This one's only two thousand dollars. It was the year. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's a fun. She's sitting there looking like a two thousand Lexus, being like, oh, it's nineteen. You know, it's only two thousand bucks. I'm like, don't you think? It, don't you think it's weird? All these cars are fucking all within three dollars of each other. You ditzy broad. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah. Um, all right. And this is the last one. This is a visual that we'll have. I'll have to send T Bone the uh, the thing for. Um, it says, if you've ever had these at your house, you are garbage. Tebow, I don't have to say anything. Let me see. But for the listener, it's the the small Corona salt and pepper oh. shakers. <laughs> Dirt Ball City. You stole that from a fucking taco joint. Yeah, that's, that's a, trash. Dude, that is a tough fucking look, man. That's, that's trash. That's one. If you if I go over to the house, you that give those to me. That salt was never clean either. No, it was always a couple pieces of pepper or something. In yeah, there. yeah, yeah. You ever go to a place where they put a little rice in with yes. the salt? Is that classy or trashy? It's uh, it preserves it longer and doesn't. Uh, there's like the natural oils and the whatever that let it cl- that don't let it clump up. The it's big a- brain on horse boy over <laughs> here. Huh? Pretty Ma- good. It's mold man. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's it, baby. Let's wrap it up. <laughs> Gang, we love you. Do us a favor. Why don't you come out and see us? Do a little fucking AYG Live, a little stand-up comedy, mm-hmm. April 20th at Raleigh Goodnights in Raleigh, North Carolina. And then the next night, we're going to be cruising down to Nashville, Tennessee. Nashville, Tennessee. That's right. Over there at Zany's and doing the show. Again, come out and see us. Uh, sign up for fucking Patreon. Get yourself some cards. Uh, We love you, and we'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.